Y'all, Rusty Harvey TV, welcome. Check it out. We're at the end of Dome Rock Road here. Thought we'd go back along the Pipeline Road. Out here exploring the dispersed camp area, Dome Rock Mountain. This is extremely popular out here. We're on the west end of Quartzite. Stop here, check out the sign. They got a little map. Pretty day. We're out in a dusty nugget. Why not? And here's your five major ones. Dome Rock Mountain, Roadrunner, High Jolly, Skadam Wash, and Plumosa Road. There's a little map. They surround the town of Quartzite. That's all your dispersed free camping. 14 day free camping. There's Dome Rock Mountain down that way. It's a nat natural gas pipeline road. They cut it right through the desert. Anyway, let's take a fun ride. Cool weather, but not bad. We'll just head straight back to Quartzite, right through the desert. Okay, there's your 14 day camping limit. They got signs posted, pretty basic. 14 days and you got to move 25 miles away and do another 14 days and you can come back. Not a bad system. See from here you could go clear out to Plumosa Road. That's almost 25 miles right there if you went far enough out Plumosa. It's not like you had to leave Quartzsite itself. A lot of people get very creative out here with that 25 mile uh, limit. But this natural gas pipeline, it goes all the way across the desert. It goes up clear over into California. It is uh, quite the pipeline. Plus they run fiber optic cables through here and they got roads along there as well too. Anywho, I thought this would be fun. You know, somewhere up here there's some old mine shafts. Maybe we can find them. They semi sort of maintain these uh, access roads like this. If they get too washed out, I think they Bring a bulldozer grader out here. There's good old Dome Rock right there. Dome Rock Mountain, which they mined on that thing too. Been see the terrain, there's access everywhere. Here in a couple more weeks, there's gonna be RVs on top of RVs here. Once again, this is a very popular end of town here. You're really close to I-10, and you get some of the traffic noise, but it isn't too bad. I've stayed out here a few times. And talk about mining, I mean, a lot of these gold, a lot of the gold claims out here are private on this side. It's the other side of the road, Dome Rock Road, that uh, you have access to the gold club. Okay, I think right up here, if I remember, Yep, there's the mines. They're all covered up. Big holes in the ground. Always fun to stop here. We'll check one or two out. And they are deep. They put metal grates over them so people Imagine coming across here at night. Bloop, right down in a big old hole. 
But there was something in here they really went after back in the day. Who knows how old these shafts are too. Those holes go way, way down. You can see the spoil piles of the mining itself too. Here's a real good look at the pipeline road. Kind of runs parallel with Dome Rock. We're going to cut over those, uh, between those little hills up there. We'll actually end up in the community of Rainbow Acres and then we'll head back to Quartzsite that way. We can see how the face of the Dome Rock Mountain there is scarred from the, all the mining. You can actually go up there in a buggy. I'm not this trip, but we'll do that here in January. Then you can just see the ATV trails, they go way, way back there. You can explore this whole area. A lot of people camp out here. A lot of groups too, you see all different kinds of groups, especially when the shows are uh, going. Which hey, end of the year. 2021 is almost over. Happy New Year to everyone, too. There's Interstate 10 way off in the distance. One busy highway. Truck after truck. All right, cool. Let's keep on trucking. come out here and rock hunt too there's uh besides this gold there's all kinds of unique rocks you can find a lot of different quartz shapes tons of history back through here all the old mining days there's uh trails even remnants of some old buildings from back in the mining days date way way back this desert's been traveled for eons. Here's a couple rigs up here. Guy in a van. Another one has a big old uh, fifth wheel. That's home. Home in the desert. You know, with solar, you can really stay out here now. When I first started coming to Quartzsite, the deserts weren't that popular. RV parks were, but now with solar, heck, everyone's out here. All right, whoop, see someone coming, I'll pull off. Let these guys pass. After the rains recently, the dust isn't too awful. But it can sure get powdery, especially when all the ATVers get here. Almost everyone now has uh, ATVs of some sort. Okay, keep on trucking. Straight up here, we're going to run up into the community of Rainbow Acres. I have done extensive videos on all the free camping around Quartzsite. It's actually an entire playlist. Be sure to check that out on my channel. I'll add the link down in the description for that. But be sure to check it out. There's an extensive list. Aerial footage and everything. Alright. This is what they call Chola Road out here. A lot of mining off to the right. Actually, I just met one of the claim owners. 
has claims out that direction. So later in January, we're going to go explore. Today's a little chilly. I need to get back to Quartzsite. Still a fun ride in the desert here on the Dusty Nugget. Now that paved road there, that's going to take us right back into the community of Rainbow Acres. You'll see it up here in a minute. How to stay in the dirt. Which I am licensed. I can. I have dual license on the buggy here. We can either on-road or off-road. Either way. Right up here somewhere should be one of those, uh, it's for the natural gas, one of their valve stations where they got all the piping sticking out of the ground. There it is. Check this out. You'll see how big these pipelines are. Look at the size of those things. Where they can shut them off. Probably maintain them. That's one of their maintenance stations, I guess, whatever they call them. Monitor the flow. You know, it's interesting. There's no natural gas in uh, Quartzsite. The town has no natural gas, but they got this massive pipeline that runs right past it. Go figure. Everything in Quartzsite, you're on propane. Okay, well, let's cruise the neighborhood here. This is Rainbow Acres, built a few uh, years ago. There's hundreds of homes. These are all private deeded lots. Rainbow Acres, you can uh, park your RV out here. Multiple RVs on one site. A lot of people will rent out sites. Looking for a rental without being in an RV park. This is a good place to look out here. They got their own water system. A lot of people have park models, even homes out here. You're actually out of Quartzsite. This is not part of the town. This is actually La Paz County. We're a couple miles away from the Quartzsite town limits. But they're really nice. Everyone's got their brick yards, you know, the fencing. Flags flying. County maintains their streets. Pretty unique place. I have a few friends that live out here. I'm staying pretty warm. Got my gloves, heavy coat. Not bad. It's kind of chilly. Typical December in Quartzsite. In the desert. Another storm front coming through. Be the last one for the year. We're almost in 2022. Goodness gravy. My goodness. 2021's in the bag. Almost. Hope everyone's going to have a safe and happy new year. All right, we're kind of getting near the end of it, but you can see what it is. There's hundreds of homes, a lot of lots. There's always something for sale out here. You can either check it on Zillow or the local realtors. Right up here, I'm going to make a left. We're going to cut right back into the desert. even got like a Rainbow Acres Facebook group. You can check out all their, there's a better look. See what it is. Kind of like an oasis in the desert.
the original plans, they were going to build a couple of these subdivisions like this. Never did finish them. Water's an issue in the desert. You can only have so much water. But that's what it looks like. Rainbow Acres. Then straight on out, there's the LTVAs, long-term visitor areas. I think that one way out is Tyson Wash. And then you'll have La Posa South out that direction. And that's looking back towards Quartzite right there. That's the direction we're heading. Look at all the trails. This endless. so many trails out here you can get twisted around but you never get lost <laughs> you always end up back at quartzite but they go all over the place this was all mining back in the day too you'll see quartz chunks of broken quartz laying everywhere a lot of washes run through here so the soil gets stirred up especially in the summer during the monsoon season okay cut through this wash we'll keep on going all right well get up here i'll stop a minute check out the terrain I'm just going slow. A lot of people like to really rip through here, but slow is good. Look at this. That cactus. Hit one, had it. You know, as big as they get, they don't have much of a skeleton on them, do they? There you can see chunks of quartz. People come out here and look for gold. It's everywhere. A lot of people metal detect out this direction too. Life in the desert. too much farther back to town but you can see you can run over the, all the little hills you can come back cut back over to Dome Rock Mountain but we're gonna stay down this flat area this will run us we're actually running right along the parallel with Tyson Walsh which runs us right back towards uh, Quartzite Close there, you can see Q Mountain straight ahead. Yep, there's remnants of an old cabin. We'll stop, check that out up here. Actually, I was told, and I never knew this, that people have gotten married out here. All kinds of ceremonies. But these are old. Uh, Remnants from back in the mining days. All built out of stone. There's a few old structures out here left. Still standing. Got some vandalism as usual, graffiti. See old foundations, old fire pits. 
Back in the day, if these walls could talk, huh? But look, someone poured a concrete floor in here. It's dated somewhere. There it is. December. Huh. Cool. Away we go. Look how flat it gets here. Now you can really see Q Mountain. That's kind of your uh, compass out here. If you get lost, always look for Q Mountain. That'll take you back to town or Dome Rock. That'll take you out towards the west. Fun little trip going out. You can take all kinds of day trips. I'm going to be around all in January with the Dusty Nugget. We're going to do a lot more exploring. Going to actually get a little bit farther out of town. I always like getting out here too after the big shows. It gets so crowded actually during the big shows. Right afterwards, when everyone leaves, though, you can really come out here, and the weather's a little bit warmer, too. Okay, here we are. You know where you're at? This is the backside of Love's uh, truck stop. Right up here is the world famous Exit 17. Love's truck stop in Q and Avenue. Bingo. Back to town. Very famous intersection, too, for all the cardboard sign holders there. <laughs> you always see the same person every day on the corner. All right, this is uh, Q and Avenue. Head down to Tyson Wells. Journey continues. Talk soon.